All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. We got huge breaking NFL news. Keenan Allen has just been traded to the Chicago Bears in exchange for a fourth round pick. A fourth round pick? Are you kidding me? Ryan Poles? What? My hat goes off to Ryan Poles here. You are literally getting one of the best route runners in the entire National Football League. You're getting the ultimate pro. This is somebody who's put together fantastic seasons in the NFL. Right, a defi People know how good of a route runner, how good of a receiver Keenan Allen is, and yet defenses, they can't figure him out. He's coming off a season with over 1,200 receiving yards and seven TDs, and the Bears are sending a fourth round pick to the Chargers, and look, I understand there's a financial aspect involved. Of course, Keenan Allen is getting paid a ton of money. The Chargers can't afford him. The Chargers approached Allen with a pay cut. He said no, but a fourth round pick is all it took to to get Keenan Allen. Crazy, crazy. We are seeing wide receivers getting traded for hardly anything. A fourth round pick for a number one stud receiver in Keenan Allen. We saw Jerry Judy go for a fifth and a sixth. We saw Deontay Johnson go for, I think it was what, a sixth or a seventh round pick and a, a player swap with Dante Jackson. And Dante Jackson's a, you know, a solid, you know, player in, you know, like give Pittsburgh credit they did upgrade a corner there especially with the release of Patrick Peterson but my lord I, I mean as a Jet fan here I, I'm looking at the Bears with some uh with some jealousy you know you're you're I would assume getting Caleb Williams a new weapon here a, a true number one to pair up with DJ Moore now this uh, opens up the door for more flexibility with that ninth overall pick so, I mean, it begs the question, what does Joe Douglas have up his sleeve? We, of course, saw the Morgan Moses trade. We're paying a lot of, you know, we're addressing D-line, D-line, Kinlaw and whatnot. But wide receiver, you know, Corey Davis, of course, did uh, file for a reinstatement, you know, back to the NFL. But it's not a guarantee that he's going to come back to us. Um, like, that, it, that's not a 100% lock. It could happen. But... Even if Corey Davis were to come back, it's still, I'm looking at the wide receiving core. I just don't feel like it's, it's, it, it would be a finished product, if you know what I mean. Um, you know, so again, we could talk about T. Higgins, who's officially requested a trade. We could talk about Bre uh, Brandon Ayuk. And now there's a ton of rumors swirling around Ayuk and the Jacksonville Jaguars because the Jags missed out on Ridley. They thought they were like a shoe in for Ridley. Now they're not. Ridley signs whatever it was, a $90 million, $92 million deal with Tennessee, $50 million guaranteed. Jacksonville all of a sudden is out of a number one wide receiver. They're now, they haven't really engaged in trade conversations up to my knowledge, but there's mutual interest there. So we're running out of options. Mike Evans is still on the open market. Hollywood Brown is still out on the open market. Um, even it, you know, I guess OBJ would be an upgrade, but I, you know I'm not really looking at that as like a potential game change. Like I don't really think that moves the needle all that much in my opinion. I'm not saying I'm right here. That's just my kind of personal take on it. Uh, I would love to hear yours down below in the comment section, but another receiver off the, oh, by the way, Curtis Samuel, three years, 30 mil with the Bills. Uh, Curtis Samuel is not elite or anything like that. Nobody's talking about Curtis Samuel being, you know, a top guy, but 10 million bucks a season for Curtis Samuel. That, that's, a, that's, a, that's a pretty solid contract for Buffalo. I was not expecting that. Um, but anyway, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Another great receiver off the board here. When will the Jets make a move at wideout? Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts. And as always, go Jets.